What's up, new people? Welcome to another video with All Source, and I've got myself another Mercedes Benz C200. But this is a 2019 stroke 2020 version. Why have I got this? This is from Europe Car. But if you don't follow me, make sure you follow me on one of my social medias, and you'll keep up to date on what is happening with my own Mercedes Benz C200. So make sure you check out the Mercedes Benz playlist to keep up to date what is happening with my own Mercedes. So here we have a 2019 Mercedes Benz C200 petrol. So in this video today, I'll be talking a bit more about it as it has some new features compared to the previous C200 that I own. So as always, people, make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when I upload any video, you'll actually be notified. Anyways, let's get started. What's up new people let's get straight into it as not only is the weather cold it's kind of windy as well so i do apologize about the wind but anyways people here we've got a mercedes-benz c200 petal this is a 2019 2020 version it has got a lot of differences between the previous one which i own and this one as well so in this video today we'll take a look at what the differences are so here we have a c200 sport version but not only is it the sport uh, version is the premium plus version with all the optional extras which you will see when we go inside and drive the car as most of the features are inside of the car so let's take a look at the exterior of the car then we'll take it for the drive see what kind of features they've got and let me know in the comment section below what you think of this car okay so it's pretty much basic from the front end you've got a normal sports bumper they do come in a few other features like the amg line which have the blades on the front with a different sport line bumper as well the only thing different about the front of the car is the headlights not only have the headlights been upgraded they also have an animation which i'll show you later in the video but overall taking a look at the front of the car is just pretty basic that brings me to the wheels of this car. Now, I've not actually seen wheels like this on a uh, Mercedes, but I have got to say, not only has it has some black extracts and silver extract on the wheels itself, it actually matches the inside of the car, which you'll later see in the video. So I do like the wheels on this car. Let me know what you think of the wheels in the comment section below. Taking a look at the side of the car, it's pretty much like any other Mercedes Benz. Um, whatever model you've got, AMG line, Sport, Sport Plus, or the uh, C43, C63. I know they have different bumps and whatnot, but every side feature of the car looks exactly the same. Let's take a look at the back of the car. So it's pretty much basic to be honest, as it's only just the Sport model. Uh, it's, there's not a lot to see on the back. It's got the roof, uh, the roof spoiler. The roof is black as you've seen uh, early in the video, but there's a reason to that, which I'll show you when we go inside of the car and we take it for the drive. So yeah, like I said, pretty much basic. There's not a lot to see. It's got fake <laughs> exhaust as well. Uh, no diffuser, fake diffuser, as some AMG lines come with the fake diffuser, as you can see in my own video. But yeah, pretty much basics. The light animation is a bit different compared to the uh, previous models. It's a bit newer as well. But other than that, pretty much basic. Okay, now that I've shown you the exterior of the car, it is cold. Let's take it for a drive and show you what kind of features the C200 petrol has. Okay, so let me check out the interior of this car. Now, the first thing is when you get inside the car, you actually get the animation on the front of the digital display, which I actually do like. It's these little twitches, but I actually appreciate a Mercedes Benz, not the breakdown service, which I'm not going to talk about in this video. So once you agree to, let's start this car up. So at the start, you've got a digital display, which I am really liking. Uh, not only that, but you can actually change the display as well. So with the right hand side of the steering wheel, uh, you're actually going to home. Um, let's take out. Uh, going to home and you have to scroll down all the way to design uh, which puts you in the sport mode which it is in now uh, you can actually scroll down and have it classic as every other car and also it has a progressive mode which i like leaving it in and that's why i always put it in sport plus mode which brings me to the modes of this car so it's similar to the previous uh, mercedes you've got four different modes you've got eco 
comfort sport sport plus and individual mode uh, which however you want to adapt it to you can actually adapt it to so i'm going to leave it into sport mode not only that people check out the steering wheel display um it has a black it's got a silver chrome with actually blacked out in uh, gloss as black gloss as well not only that it's got a black gloss trim around the car as well taking a look at inside of the ashtray you've got two cup holders and also a wireless charging pad for your smartphone which i am actually liking not only that you can actually connect your usb to the front of the car as well and if you actually need some more usb slots you can check out the middle console where you actually have two more usb slots and a, a, a micro sd card slot as well which is handy if you want to listen to them uh, songs what you've got in your sd card not only that not only if you've got them on your uh, usb so that is really handy as well so not only that everything is actually blacked out in the car you got black vents uh, the steering wheel is all black with black inserts on the uh, buttons as well you've got black uh, leather around the car with a silver brushed aluminium trim uh, which also has a upgraded sound system in this car as well and also it's got heated seats uh, so you get quite a lot of uh, tech inside this premium plus sport model which i do really like which brings me to my next attention is the panoramic roof so why do they have a uh, gloss black uh, pan um, roof because it has a panoramic roof which i am definitely like you only actually get that in this premium plus model so you can actually open the visor or you can actually open the pan roof all itself so i am actually going to close it because it was actually snowing earlier on so uh don't want to get cold as i'm nice and warm in this car so that is the front uh, of the car let me bring my attention to the middle uh, infotainment of this car which this is the main feature of this car you've got a bigger screen uh, compared to the previous uh, mercedes benz not only that let me take turn your attention to the camera system on this car so you've got 360 degrees camera with also a bird's eye view we can actually change different angles on where you are looking so if we uh, turn our attention to the middle of the screen so you've got the car there if you touch the trackpad which is touch screen as well uh, you can actually uh, scroll down and that actually gives you a wide angle of the front of the car and not only that if you uh, scroll down it just gives you a normal angle of the front of the car and uh, scroll down again it gives you a side angle of the car as well but if you open up the doors it will actually black it out and it also has a wide angle at the back and also a normal angle at the uh, back as well so and also if you look at the right hand side of the screen it shows you a three 300 uh, bird's eye view of the car as well so for all you people that uh, don't know how to park properly this is ideal for you so make sure you uh, hit the optional extra when you want the 360 degrees camera because this car can actually park itself for you as well so not only that people it has a quite a difference so press the home button right here it has quite a lot of features in the infotainment system you can actually choose your settings to uh, set um, the details around your car you can actually choose uh, what kind of information you want about your vehicle your connect as well that actually connects to mercedes-benz apps your apple carplay and your own uh, android auto as well and not only that you can actually uh, put your in-car office so you've got to connect your bluetooth to your in-car office and you will actually receive all your messages your uh, you know your calendar your appointments everything will come um onto the display inside of the car so that's why it's called in-car office you not only that you've got if it comes back on uh, your telephone which you can actually connect your telephone you make phone calls your media um your radio navigation and that is about it so it has got a lot of features on this model compared to the previous one with the big screen and it actually looks really good as well so enough of the infotainment and the interior of the car let's see what the extra um, the back looks like with me sitting in it see what space i've got and then we'll take the car out for the test drive now i've not really actually sat in the back of a c-class because i'm always in the driver's seat but uh, i have positioned the front seat um to my liking and i've got to say the leg space is all right i'm six foot five and there's a bit of uh high, um, roof space but i think the only reason why because it's got a pan roof so it just gives it that little bit of extra uh, headspace as well so yeah overall the back seats are not so bad but if you're a tall person or a big person then you are going to struggle okay let's take this car out for a drive so i've actually got it in uh, sport mode and check this out
kind of shifts in sport mode as this is a petrol it's gonna uh, be a bit faster compared to the diesel version so uh, just got to take it easy you know what I mean uh, but overall the drive is similar to my uh, previous Mercedes which I own so there's not a lot of changes but I have got to say Mercedes-Benz have got a really comfort drive I'm not going to lie I've test driven Audis I've test driven BMWs and I've got to say when it comes to Mercedes the driving experience is much better in my opinion than the previous German cars hence why I actually chose the Mercedes but um, as mine has got a few problems uh, I don't want to talk too much about it you can check that out in my previous videos or in the Mercedes-Benz playlist but um, yeah overall the new features on this car are really good and uh, the drive is actually the same uh, but a bit more speed as this is a petrol version let's talk a bit more about the performance of this car so I was looking at the specs on this car and it's about 184 bhp um, on a C200 petrol as well and that's coming from a 1.6 litre engine now the road tax is around 150 pounds per year as well so the CO2 emissions on this car is a little high compared to the diesel version which my version uh, C200D uh, uh, 2016 it's only 30 pound road tax per year as well so it's a bit steep on this car but uh, for the power that you get I don't know if you can hear it really really good I do like this car I have got to say it's really responsive as well uh, as long as you put it in uh, sport or sport plus mode the response on this car is really good now, I'm just stuck in traffic so uh, it's just gonna idle as the weather here in England is really really rough it's been snowing earlier it's really cold and windy so I do apologize when I was recording outside of the car if it's really windy but overall um, I have got to say the premium plus model I am really liking now it's actually put me back into liking my Mercedes-Benz because the model that I've got I'm just having problems with it to be honest uh, even though I've not had it a year uh, they gave me this car and it's put my hopes back high as getting into a premium plus Mercedes-Benz uh, the gadgets on this car is just unreal to be honest you've got everything you'd actually want uh, from heated seats, uh, upgraded sound system, digital display, a bigger screen, um, a trackpad as well uh, 360 degrees camera, pan roof as well uh, the only thing I don't like is the exterior of this car is because it's just a bit basic so if it was an AMG line premium plus that car would be spot on um, if I was at to actually give you which engine would be best I would actually go for the C220 as the previous uh, higher car that Mercedes gave me was the black one you can see it in my previous video and that was the C220 black version uh, it wasn't a premium plus but it had all the specs that my previous car did uh, but the response the engine wise the drive on that car was really good but uh, it has got a similar speed to this one as this is a petrol of course petrol is a bit more faster but uh, yeah I don't want to brag on too much about these cars as uh, you've probably seen a lot of the same reviews uh, previously on YouTube but overall I am going to say I do still like Mercedes cars uh, this one has bought my hopes of back as the response the tech in this car is really really good now I'm just stuck in traffic so I don't know where to go but yeah, anyways people I hope you enjoyed this video uh, the reason why I did this car is because it's got new features and I just wanted to show you what the 2019 model is like compared to my uh, personal 2016 Mercedes-Benz so uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see any different uh, videos with this car let me know in the comment section below uh, make sure you subscribe for new videos to come on all sorts and uh, yeah thanks again for watching i'll see you again for another video now i've got to try and get out of this traffic the color i got is a gloss black with the um, logo in the middle as well same again it's just a sticker what you just peel off and put it in so and not only that you can actually make your iphone xr look like an iphone 11 and here we have a red version for that.